Okay, everybody, welcome to class. So the class rules are the same. If you have a question halfway through the class, can you please click on the icon with the hand mark? And then we'll come around to you. So you can, you'll be unmuted to ask your question. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be going fairly slowly, so you should all be able to follow. Okay, are you, get, are you ready? So I would like you all to get your first paper in front of you. Paper number one in front of you on your desk. Got it. Now the first thing that we're going to be painting is a big fishbowl. Have you all seen a fishbowl before or a fish tank? So we're going to draw a really big one here with lots of water inside so we can put some fish in it later. Okay. So what color will be, what color fishbowl would you like to have? If you could choose any color fishbowl. I think I'm gonna go orange. I like a yellowish orange. This one is called deep yellow. So once you decide what color you'd like your um, you'd like your fish tank to be, please get it out. See if you have new paint, you might need to open it. Now open it and then put some out. Squeeze some out on your palette. And always make sure to put your lid on. Okay, so your paint doesn't dry out. Now, once you've got this, can you choose your paintbrush? How thick or how thin would you like the walls of your Sorry, fishbowl to magical. I think Mia just came. Yep. Hi, Mia. Mia, have you got your paint and paper today? Can you squeeze some paint out to paint your fishbowl? That's your first step. Yep, Gary, you can use watercolor. Yep. You can use any kind of paint, everybody. Have you got your paint? Have you got your paint on your paintbrush? Yes. I'd like you all to get some paint all around your paintbrush. See if you can roll your paintbrush around so there's paint on the paintbrush all around, not just on one side. Ooh, Erin's going to use gold, a golden uh, fish tank. That's kind of cool. Okay, you ready? I'm going to do, your fish tank can be any shape. Can you all see if you can make a, draw a big one? My fish tank is going to be, ooh, that's not enough paint. I'm going to need to put some more paint on my paintbrush. Okay, mine's going to be, this is all, this is a made up fishbowl, everybody. So you can turn it into any shape. See how big you can paint it. My fishbowl is going to be sort of round on this side and then still round on this side. It's going to need to be sitting on something. So on the bottom, the bottom I'm going to make sure that it's flat so that it doesn't tip over. Okay. I think that'll do. What do you think? It's a different kind of a, a different kind of fishbowl. It's fat on this side and skinny on this side. You can even add some decoration to it. Maybe I'm going to add some little spikes. My fishbowl is going to be a spiky fishbowl. Okay, now, how did you go? 
after you get have your fish bowl, we're going to fill it with lots and lots of water. Yeah, we're going to paint the water inside our fish bowl. Yeah, Erin's got pet fishes. A fish. We've got lots of fish. Yeah. I used to have lots too. Not anymore. We have lots of small ones and big ones. So for the fish to live in your fish bowl, it's going to need lots of water. Are you all ready for the next one? If you've, if you've drawn your fish bowl, can you please lift it up and show us? What does it look like? Can you put it close to the screen? Whoa, look how big it is. Rowan, that looks awesome. Who else has got a fishbowl? Are most of you still painting? Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at Ruby. She's got a she's got a really nice pink one. Alicia's got is that gold or yellow? You've got a nice one too. Are you all doing okay? Yep. Okay, Joey, you can see yours. Okay, now, if you're still painting your fish bowl, you can continue. Can you watch the screen next? Okay, I'm going to put out some color for the water. Can you choose two or three? different colors for your water. It doesn't have to be clear. This is, this is an imaginary fishbowl. I'm going to go blue first. See all that blue? So juicy. Okay. Cap on. Blue. And maybe a bit of red. Red. Okay, I'm going to put some out here. Blue and red water. And my last color is going to be white. A bit of white. So let's see what happens when we mix all the colors. It might look really interesting. Got all this white here. So there's my three colors. Got white, red, and blue for the water. What color is your water? You've chosen some exciting colors. Ooh, nice. Nice. Once you've got your color, you can get your paintbrush. I think for this one, see if you can choose a really a big paintbrush. All right, Joey and Leila, are you doing okay? Have you chosen your paint for your, have you chosen the paint for your water? Yeah, okay. You all got your paint for your water? I think Rihanna, did you just join us? Rihanna, if you've just joined, can you please get your paint and draw a fishbowl? Once you've drawn your own fishbowl, we're going to paint the water inside. Okay. Once you've got your colors for your water, can you please get your paintbrush and get your first color. I'm going to get my first color, half of it on paintbrush, and the other half of my paintbrush is going to be red. Can you see? Can you see the blue and the red? So maybe some more red. So there's blue on one side and red on the other side. And let's see what happens. Okay, I've got two colors. I'm gonna fill the water at the tank with this color. Oh, look at that. Can you see the three colors all mixing? And I'm going to blend the blue. You can paint your water 
a different way, if you have a different way. And I'm gonna get some more, a little bit more blue on my paintbrush. Make sure there's lots of water. Maybe I'll make it a little bit wavy so the fish can be swimming a little bit inside. There's a bit of a wave under, under the water or in the fish tank. See, if you, put, if you put some water on your paintbrush, if you put water in on your paintbrush, you can paint thinner. The water will look different. Is it fun? Does it look cool in your water, in your um, fish tank? My fish tank's looking pretty interesting. Now I'm going to bring some white swirls. It's, oh, wait, wait. I think I need a little bit more blue. I think it needs to be more. I need some more blue. Keep going. Keep going some ways. And then maybe I'm ready to put some white. So on the same paintbrush, I'm going to put some white. Pick up some white. And a little bit of some white, a little bit of water, and then see what happens. I add some white on it, maybe more white. Whoa, it's like there's so much color. Okay, then I'm going to keep going this time with this time with white and red, I think. What do you think? So because last time I did blue and red, this time I'm going to clean my paintbrush and I get my water. Oops, oops there goes, my, goes my little paintbrush. Excuse me, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. Then very gently get the water off like this. So it doesn't splash everywhere, you see. I don't want my table to be all messy with water. So I'm gonna clean it. And then on half of my paintbrush, I'm gonna do something similar. Get red on half of my paintbrush. Then on the other half, you can get your other color. I've got white. What color do you have? Okay. And then with my new color, I'm going to go swirl. It's looking mysterious in this water. Whoa. Can you imagine having a fishbowl with so much color? Imagine swimming inside this. Imagine if you're a fish. That would be crazy. It's so colorful. It's going to be red here. And then if you swim over here, it's going to be blue. Okay. I think it'll be fun, actually. Okay. I think that'll do for now. Mine. Make sure, make sure that the fish bowl's full of water up to the top. Okay, got lots of water. Okay, how did you go? Oh, Rowan, that's really nice and thickly painted. Look at all the water, right to the top. Good work. Was that fun? It's fun painting, isn't it? Oh, sad, cool. Okay, who's also got water? Lots and lots and lots of water. Oh, cool. Okay. I see that some of you are only using paint to paint your paper. See if you can put some water. Can you see if you can put some water on your paintbrush? And then, and then pick up your paint because that, that will help you spread out the paint a little bit. 
if you don't use any water, you're going to need lots of paint to cover the whole page, you see. So see if you can put a little bit of water on your paintbrush before you pick up your paint. Andy, Andy Ivy, Andy, do you have a bigger paintbrush? No, just that one? Okay, that's okay, you can keep going. It's looking good. Mia, how's yours? Doing okay? Whoa. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, Alicia, you're really into it, hey? Does it look good so far? And Ruby, you good? Okay. If you, oh, Gary, Gary's got, whoa, look at that. It's like a rainbow water. Okay, ooh, Stephen. Cool. Joey, awesome. Okay, I think most of you are finished with your water. Can you please, if you have finished, can you please get your second sheet of paper? So this paper, we can put it somewhere, somewhere safe, okay? Because we're gonna go come back to this. Can you leave this paper somewhere safe? Maybe somewhere safe next to you on the table? And grab your second sheet of paper. Okay, and can you put your second sheet of paper in front of you? Got it? Now, this is when the fun begins. We're gonna draw some fish and all the sea creatures. Ready? What color fish will be swimming in your fish tank. Mine's gonna be, what color? Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe some yellow, just like the color of my fish bowl. I'm gonna get some yellow. And, oh, I think this is, oh, no, it's not stuck, okay. Get some yellow. You can decide on the color of your fish. Get some yellow. Put the lid on again. And I'm going to get my smaller paintbrush this time. I'm going to put some water on my paintbrush and then get my paint. So I'm going to get my paint. Maybe grab, might grab a little bit of red as well. See, when you mix red and yellow, what color do you get? Ooh, I'm getting an interesting orange. Yeah, I might mix it together, but, but not fully mix it so that, oh, actually, I can mix it. Maybe I will fully mix it. You can decide when to stop mixing, you see. You can keep it smooth or you can you can keep the marble look. Okay, once you've got enough paint on your paintbrush, you can decide. Think think about how many fish you'd like to have in your have in your tank. Hundreds? Or one big one? Right, one tiny, tiny baby one. I think I'm gonna have, I might have a few. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with one. So I'm, this time I'm gonna paint by just doing these little, little gestures. See, dot, dot, dot. Go dot, dot, dot. And then the tail is going to be flowing. Going to have flowy tails for this fish. Flowy tails. And then 
think fish, they've got something on the top too, don't they? Still, still a bit here. And it's going to need some fins so that it can swim around. So we can pick up a different color for that. And it's going to be white. And maybe it needs some scales. It's going to be a little spotty looking one. What does your fish look like? It's going to be a little white and yellow spotty one. Does your fish have eyes or no eyes? What color eyes do you think? Oh, mine's gonna be mine's gonna be half sleeping. So it's like sleeping and swimming and cruising. That'll be nice. Okay. So the eyes, it's gonna have blue, blue sleepy, sleepy looking eyes. See, it's sleeping. <laughs> Sleep swimming. Gary, yep, you can sure outline it. We're going to be cutting this out afterwards, so an outline might help you find where you need to cut. Once you've got your first fish, if you would like, you can paint your fish number two. This time, I'm going to start with red. I'll show you what I'm going to. You can try layering. So you can do something like start with one color. See that? I've got my red on my paintbrush. And then I'm going to cover the whole body in red. And then do the tails. The tails, another flowy tail, and then on top of it, I'm gonna go over with a thin layer of white. And then what happens? See what happens when you layer another color. Do you see it mixing? See how you can see the brush marks as well. So smooth. If you're using oil pastel, once you draw with your oil pastel, you can use your finger or a sponge or a tissue paper and see if you can mix the colors. Oh, Erin's got a fish that's half red and half pink. I'll come around and see, I'll come around and see all of your fish in a second. Can't wait to see them all. Oh. Wonder how many different fish we're gonna see. see. This one's gonna have a little thing at the top. And maybe this time my fish can be wide awake. So I've got one that's sleeping. And another one with big goggly eyes. Ooh, ooh, yeah. So to do the eyes, can you all clean your paintbrush again? Sorry, you can't see, can you? Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. And get your water and clean your paintbrush. And then you take your water off on the side. So it can be on this side or this side. Get the water off your paintbrush. And if you have too much, you can use your fingers to yeah, get some water off. And then you pick up your work, get some paint on your paintbrush. This time, I'm going white. I'm going to do the eyes. And then it's gonna it's gonna need eyeballs. That's just the white part of the eye. 
I'm just gonna need eyeballs, so I'll pick up some more paint. This time blue. Look at this one. <laughs> I've got one that's wide open. This one's asleep and this one's awake. Okay. Now it's got fish. Oh my goodness. Go oh, and you've got one, two, three, four. How many did you all paint? Can I see all your fish? Ooh, Joey's got one. A green one? Yeah. Steven, whoa, how many did you paint there? It's flickering, but you can see a lot. Okay. Grace, how are you going? And your brother, how is he going? Yo, nice. Oh, they look so sweet. <laughs> Is, is, is that like a catfish, the one on the top? <laughs> Mia, oh, I got two fish, one with a yellow tail. Erin's got some nice ones too. Okay. So if you're still painting, you can keep painting. If you have finished, what we're gonna do, take it off the paste and Get your pair of scissors. We're going to cut the fish out. Do you think you can cut it out without getting your scissors or your hand dirty? Because remember, your paint is still wet. So make sure you don't touch the fish when you're cutting. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it in half like that first. I'll put this one on the side and then okay it's a little bit tricky let's see if you can cut around the fish without accidentally touching the paint or without accidentally cutting off the tail of the fish can you do that? Okay, that bit can come off. And then I'm gonna cut around the tail. You also have to be careful with your fingers too. You don't wanna chop off your fingers. You gotta be very careful. The scissors are very sharp. Cut all around. Okay, cut around the first fish. And once you cut the first fish, where are you gonna hold? Still a little bit wet. Okay, the first fish is cut out. I'm gonna keep that somewhere safe again. Then fish number two. I think this one's even more wet because we only just finished painting it. Is it working? Are your scissors still nice and clean? Okay, no paint still? Okay. If you accidentally get paint on your scissors, you can wipe it off. You can wipe it off with your sponge or your cloth. Okay. That might be okay. Looks like you're all doing really well. Okay, so I'm gonna go around this way and then maybe start on the other side. Maybe start on this side. So go all the way around. All the way around the fish. And then this way. And then the top. I'm gonna go around the top. Okay, all right, chop it off. Whoa, look at all that. Now, this is another fun part too, everybody. Can you all grab your fish bowl? Have I got your fish bowl? I think, I think it's fairly dry now. Some parts are dry. 
already. Now you can decide where you'd like your fish to be swimming. Are they going to be swimming together or would they be overlapping? So you can have one swimming like this, one swimming separately, or they can be swimming on top of each other. Or maybe they're going, maybe they're crossing over. Where would be a nice place for your fish to swim? Okay, you can decide. And then we're going to get some glue and stick them on a page. You can get your glue. You might have glue stick or you might have a different type of glue. You can use any kind of glue. And then you can put, if your fish is too wet, you can put paint on your water, okay? I think, oops, I think my fish is dry, starting to dry. So I'm gonna put some glue on here. I'm going to try and not touch the bits that are too wet. Put some glue here. You can always add some glue afterwards. Yeah. So we'll start with this much glue. And then you can decide. My fish is going to, you know what? <laughs> My fish is going to be coming out of the fishbowl. It's just going to swim away just because it can. See that? It's, it's, it's swimming away. Whoa, okay. okay. Rowan, are you finished already? <laughs> now, if you finished painting, sticking your fish in your fishbowl, can you think of other things that might be in your fishbowl? What do fish like? Do you think you can add some things that your fish might like to have in the fishbowl? So I've got one more. This one's going to be swimming over here. It's going to be going upwards. Okay. And now, once you've got your fish, you can start to think about all the other things that might be in the fishbowl and even outside the fishbowl. I'm thinking, I think my fish will like some seaweed. So I'm going to get back to my paint. And okay. Seaweed. I'm going to do green seaweed. Do you all know how to make green with, with these paint? What color do you, what primary colors do you mix to get green? Yeah. Which one? This one? Red? Blue? I think so. Yeah. Blue and yellow. Let's try blue and yellow. Yes, got it. Blue and yellow makes green. Yes, Erin, that's right. Green and yellow makes green. I mean, oh yeah, blue and yellow makes green. I'm, I want my green to be a little bit light, so I'm going to mix white as well. Blue, green, and white, and you get a soft green like a pastel green, or would you call it emerald, emerald green. Okay, now I'm ready to paint some seaweed. I'm gonna have some seaweed. Maybe I'm gonna, I'll have some seaweed growing over here. Okay. Oh, what about, what about some like flowers on the seaweed? Did the seaweed have some flowers? 
haven't seen many with flowers, but maybe I can make one up. You're frozen. Maybe, maybe more oh, no, seaweed on this. Oh, good. Okay. Let's see. The seaweed is growing everywhere on the bottom. Okay. Can you see the seaweed on the bottom? Oh, it's a little bit, sorry, everybody. It's a little bit hard with the light. I'll just, just move the, just change the shade of light. Is that better? Can you see the seaweed on the bottom? It looks a little bit dark on the screen. Yeah. So I've got my seaweed and the ivy. Can I see? Can I just check what you've done? Hey, that looks cool. Yeah, keep going, keep going, don't give up. Keep going, yeah? I think it looks interesting. <laughs> Andy Ivy, if you if you don't if you don't like what you did, you can grab your last sheet of paper. You've still got one more paper, right? Yep. You can grab your last sheet of paper, see if you can start again. You can do a smaller one and see if you can do a new one. Yeah? Okay. What kind of fish boy are you going to do this time? Oh, look at that. And some of you got fish. Did some of you draw, um, like Rowan, did you draw your fish seaweed outside your fish bowl? Oh, I never thought of that. That is such a cool idea. So like, yeah, you could totally grow one outside. Why not? Yeah, it can be spilling out. Okay. Now, I'm going to have some flowers. So, what color flower? Maybe, hmm, maybe pink? How do you make pink? Do you know how to make pink? I'm going to mix. Let's try red, a little bit of red, and some white. Mix it up, mix it up. Did you all make lots of colors? You tried? You can try mixing lots of the colors that you've got and see what happens. Okay, so this got some flowers blooming, blooming. Flowers on the seaweed. Now it looks it looks a little bit like a tree. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a cherry blossom or something. Okay. Did, what about your fish? Are they are they breathing? What happens, what happens inside the water when you breathe or when you blow air out and you go, Pfft. you see bubbles? Yeah, bubbles, okay. I'm going to add some bubbles next to the fish. So this one needs some bubbles. Maybe this one will have some bubbles too. The bubbles can be, maybe I'll keep it simple this time. Yeah, because if, Got so many colors in here now. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna do light blue. You can choose your own color. Oh, Andy Ivy's got frogs. Did anybody else paint frogs? What about turtles? Did anybody pick turtles? Yeah, at least you did. Cool. What about a dolphin? Did anybody, does anybody have a dolphin? <laughs> no? Okay, I've got my light blue now. See when you mix colors, just by mixing two colors, you can, you can make so many new ones. You can mix lots of blue or lots of white. 
and change the darkness of it. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, that doesn't show at all. I'm gonna need lots more white. So some bubbles. Paint some bubbles. This one's gonna have bubbles coming off the page. You see the bubbles, a little bit of bubble. Yeah. Now the last thing, if you finished inside the fishbowl, and if you finished adding all the details inside, can you all think of where the fishbowl is placed? Is it inside a room? Or is your fishbowl outside? Or is your fishbowl at a fun park, swimming pool, at the beach? Can you imagine where your fishbowl might be? And you can you can paint all the background. It could be in your dreams. You might you might just have lots and lots of colors. Remember, you've got you've got a few different paintbrush that you can play with. So mine's going to, or oh, mine's going to be in a world full of lights. It's going to be okay. Better clean the okay. Let's clean our paintbrush. Clean it up. Make sure there's none of the old color stuck on the paintbrush. Get the water off. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Is anybody stuck? Are you all doing okay? Yeah. So, um, probably Erin. Yep. I have a question. I think it's Gowry, not Erin. But... Who's got a question? What's your question? Who's Gary, it? have you got a question? No? Yeah? Okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right, so I'm going to keep going with the yellow. This time, oh, I'm going to get some yellow, mix lots of white in the yellow. So it's not too strong. Mix it up and then get lots of water, mix it up. And then see, see all the paint on the paintbrush? I'm gonna do the background. Oh, it's not showing again, is it? Okay, sorry everybody, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn this all the way down for a bit. So I'm just going to tap the page. See, I'm not painting like this. I'm going tap, 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 tap. This way, you can get a different, different kind of texture. You can paint in so many different ways, everybody. Yeah, you can invent your own way. If you'd like to paint, if you'd like to go circular you can go circular motion if you like to paint this way you can paint by going swish swish uh, for this one i think i'll just go tap 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 lots of tapping cover up the hole all the background keep going yeah some of the bubbles might get smudged, but that's okay. I'll keep it like that. It's all going to blend. So I'm imagining this one's going to be like light. Oh, whoa, some of you have finished. Look at that. What do you think? Do you like your work? <laughs> that's amazing work. Nice big fishbowl. 
Okay. Now, if you've, if you've absolutely finished with your first one, you've still got one more page. You've all still got one more piece of paper, right? Okay. Now that you know how to use the paint in a new way, can you get your last piece sheet of paper and see if you can try making your own painting? Yeah, it's your free time now. So if you've finished with your first painting, you can take this off, take it off, put it somewhere safe so it doesn't get messy. And you can get your last sheet of paper. And this time you can paint anything you want, but you still have to use paint. Yeah? You can use all of the color that you like. So you can choose the ones that you would like to try using and then see if you can mix some colors too. See what happens. So I'll show you something. So many ways you can play with paint. Hey, Andy Ivy had a question. Hi, Andy. Um, remember I said I only had an oil pastel? Mm hmm Well, yesterday I already did this one. Oh, wow. Andy, that looks like it's glowing. Yeah, it's glowing. Well, did you enjoy doing that? Yes, I am going to do the red one. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're still. Are you, are you in the middle of doing your red one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think you can keep going with that. That looks amazing. After what that, did, what did? How did you use your oil oil pastels today? Good. Good. Okay. I'll come around and have a look later. Yeah. Thanks for showing us that. Okay, so everyone's using paint in different ways. Okay, so this time, remember how last time we did tap, 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 tap? This time, I'm gonna go circle. What happens when you do circle? See how it starts dark, but it goes light. Then you can try with another color. So this you can get, once you finish, a, do a little bit, you can get some more of a different color. Get a new, new bit of paint. And then maybe put a little bit of water on it. Can you put a little bit of tiny bit of water on it? A little bit of water on it. And then you can go, side of it. Whoa. There's some blue here and there's some red mixed up here. You see the mix of all the colors. Now what will happen? Oh we can use all the colors. Ella, are you going? Can you show can you show me your fishbowl before you go? Everybody, can you all see Ella's, Ella's painting? She's, she's just got to go. We can learn from her work, I think. Oh, that's, Ella, can you, can you pull it a little bit backwards? Can you can't, turn off the background because we can't see. Put the background on. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Three fish. Yeah. I like the circles that you did on the outside too. Good work, Ella. Great, thanks for showing us that. I'll see you next week. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so everybody else is still here. I'm gonna continue with my experiment. Okay, I'm gonna do another layer. Have you noticed that if you use lots of water, your paint goes really thin? 
if you don't use any water and you just put paint on your paintbrush, it's going to be thick. Joey, Joey, what is your paint? Can I have a look? Ooh, oh, whoa, your fish is very big. Yeah, great. Joey, are you finished with that painting or do you still need to put some color on the background? Okay, if you're finished, whoa, Layla, awesome. Okay, I think you're both finished. Can you both get your last sheet of paper? Can you get your last sheet of paper, a new one? And see if you can play with the paint on it. See what happens to the paint when you go circle. And when you mix new color, when you mix water on your paintbrush, yeah. So I've still got all this bit. I'm gonna mix more water on this. Alice, how's your going? Alice, is your painting? Is it happening? Yeah. Oh, oh, got one, two, got lots of colors. Good, good. That looks really nice. Alice, you can try mixing. See if you can. See if you can play with some water. See, I can see that you use lots of paint to paint lots of parts. You can you can try mixing some water in, on with your paint, and see what happens. Yeah, I think you'll, I think you'll, I think you'll see, I think you'll see the results straight the minute you put it on the paper. Okay, and you can also, oh, Rowan, can I guess what that is? Is it Pikachu? <laughs> That's a big Pikachu. Where's the Pikachu standing? Is it flying or is it standing? Is it floating maybe? Oh, see you Erin. See you next week. Everybody, you've got two more minutes to finish your work. Do you think you can do it? Two more minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm just doing, I'm just doing little tapping motions. Can you see all the patterns, the different patterns that you can make with your paintbrush? So if you just use it like a stamp, you can make this kind of marks. If you go straight up and down, You'll get lines. If you go circle, you get what you got right. What else can you do? What if, did anybody do cross hatching? Can you go sideways and then up and down? Can you see the crisscross? You see all the marks, and then you can see, you can try creating a whole design. See what looks good for you. Oh, wow. All right. I think you've all done, done some really good experiments, and you finished your major work. So everybody, before you go, can you please put both of your work up and so you can share it with all of your friends? Whoa, good job, guys. You all worked super hard. Do you like your fish? Yeah? Andy, where's yours? 
Have you got it? Hey, nice one. Yeah. Good. Yep, Alicia. Whoa, look at that. So many colors. The yellow looks nice and bright. Mia. Oh, your experiment looks really interesting. It looks like, oh, this looks like a landscape or something. Okay. Which one do you both, do you all like? Do you like them both? Or do you like your fish more? Or did you enjoy experimenting more? Maybe both. You like picture? <laughs> okay. Well, everybody, next week, we're going to be doing something new. So, can you all make sure you get lots of rest during the weekend? And I'll see you back on Tuesday. Yeah? Okay, everybody. I hope you have okay. fun. Thank you. It's up, you. everyone. It's time to say goodbye to Miss Magico. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye Miss Magico. I'll see you Bye. in one week. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. See you. Bye.